Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Louis Taylor. Today I'm doing a contextual demonstration of the amazing Fracture Sounds Spotlight Piano, which is a very recent release. Um, and they sent me a copy of this library so that I could review it. And I essentially um, have done another video, which I'll link, um, and it's basically just an overview, uh, very much a live initial thoughts to the library. But this is a contextual uh, demo that I wrote with other sample libraries so you can get a feel for how this library sounds uh, in a more sort of media music sense um, in this kind of modern day hybrid score. So um, let's jump over to Logic and we'll have a little look at what I've got. So we're in Logic now and I've got a bunch of different tracks here as you can see. And the Spotlight Piano is, there's only a few that I'm using at the moment. Uh, and to be fair, you know, you wouldn't expect that many tracks because um, I've got a few textures and the main piano. But it is the main sort of body of the track. You know, I didn't write it with it in mind to start with. And then I thought, this is perfect. I need to add some piano. Why not use this? And um, basically, I've got a bunch of other things here. Uh, going on. So why don't we just have a quick listen to the demo, it's only about a minute and a half, and then we can look into what's actually going on within the individual uh, elements. So here's the demo. Great stuff. So that's the demo for you. Um, it's very minimal, not a lot going on here, but um, there's a lot of production, but the main body of what's happening is, I would say, within the piano. So I'm just going to go through a few of the other elements quickly before we get into the piano so you can understand what's going on as a sort of bass layer. Um, so to start with, I've got some Spitfire Audio um, London Contemporary Orchestra strings, which I'll show you here. They're really cool. This was probably one of the first libraries I ever bought, actually, uh, probably back in 2017, something like that. And um, it's great. It's full of really, really cool sounding stuff. Um, if I just, for example, play you this patch here, which comes in a bit later, it's called the Salt Pond. It's called it's essentially Salt Ponticello on the violin, um, which is where you play really near the bridge, and it sounds very scratchy, and there's lots of harmonics coming through. Um, this is long super pont, so it's basically like mega near the bridge, probably on the bridge incredibly textural. This is a very extreme library, I would say. Um, we also have this really nice woozy... Very cool. Um, this amazing um, sort of slackened effect. So you can bring them in as and when. Um, and there's these irregular trims as well. Oh, a little bit of a... Uh... So very textural to start with. But what I love about these sounds, they're so clean, the recordings are just pristine, and I've added a bit of my own reverb here from Cinematic Rooms, just the Legato Hall patch, um, 
which I'm busting to it along with all the others. And um, together the opening sounds like this. It's a little bit sort of tense. So this is very much um, for a sort of psychological horror thriller type uh, sound that I'm going for here. And um, I actually wrote this for a pitch for a film that I'm hopefully going to be working on one day. You never know. I don't know. It's a pitch. But it's um, this demo is for that. Um, and I thought that's why it would be a great example to try and make use of some of these new libraries. Um, so basically, obviously, this isn't going to be sold or anything like that. Um, it's literally just a demo. Um, and then to add to that, we've got some tune percussion. So we've got this vibraphone texture here, which is I just kind of play these chords here. Um, the modulation on the vibraphone is incredibly, uh, it's so turned down that it basically sounds very small and there's a bit of uh, vibrations happening. And it's incredibly textural. So what we've got here is we've got some distortion which comes in at the end. We've got some delay which is a kind of like vintage sounding delay and we've got reverb so in the middle of very nice ambient sound then to add to that we've got this um, vibraphone melody which is essentially doubling the piano just to give it some extra texture and emphasis then we move on to the fracture sound stuff so we've got I actually did make use of hemisphere in this as well which is really nice um, so bit of distortion on there from the built-in distortion actually from the lo-fi setting um, I've got a whole video on this so you can check that out on my channel it's pretty recent um, I've got tape saturation here I mean that is just a beautiful really really beautiful sound that I really really love that hemisphere library is so useful um, and now we have the spotlight piano so what I've done is obviously we've got the main predominant um, bloody Nora. Uh, we've got this <laughs> the spotlight piano here, um, which is uh, the, the essentially the clean instrument. Although that didn't sound very clean, and I'll go into why in just a second. Um, so we also have these really nice textures. So what I've done, and I've in the overview I explain how to do this, but essentially it has this really cool layer mix and you can choose all of these cool different kind of um, atmospheres that are layered in with the raw signal. And um, this one, for example, 4A, sounds like this. Um, I bring that in a bit later. We've got another one of my favorites here called Flare. reverse sound going on there and then we have glint very quiet but makes a big difference um, so those layered with hemisphere sound amazing And they kind of like go throughout whenever there's a piano melody, essentially. And then that brings me to the piano melody, which is very simple. So there's the kind of clean signal. I've got a delay on there. I've got this tube delay from uh, soft tube. And if we go into the automation, you can see here that as the texture increases, so does the, the, the drive on the delay um, as it's mixed in and the overall intensity of it. So, really cool kind of effect there. So it's a very simple... Um, piece of music um, but what's great about it is that it was it's inspiring it's an inspiring library that I can 
pull out and use on a track like this and and quickly bash out a piece of music when I need to and that's the beauty of it um, it just has so much richness and texture and clarity and warmth and with these added atmospheres as well that obviously are gen you know they're built to go with the piano there's no reason not to use them if we just solo the spotlight piano And so on. Which then, in turn, and I, by the way, I love how this piano sounds here, but I'm an advocate for using live instruments wherever possible. As you can see to my right, I have a beautiful old Beckstein piano, acoustic, live, 100 years old. I love it so much. It sounds glorious. Um, I didn't really want to use the Spotlight piano over that, only because I have it available and I feel like I can get a better performance out of it. You can be the judge, but I use this as a kind of compositional template um, as opposed to a final export so that I could have the live piano in there. It's a little bit more raw, a bit more dry to start with compared to the spotlight piano. And it kind of penetrates the mix a little bit better. And then I turn the reverb up here as you can see. It's also got the delay on it. So, um, you know, it's essentially, you can use either, if you don't have a live piano, the Spotlight piano is a very, very good replacement. And it's obviously got the textures which I'm using there. But uh, for me, personally, in this example, I just kind of wanted to use this live piano to give this a bit of extra emphasis. But the Spotlight piano was so useful in helping me get a feel for what I wanted the piano to do and to track the recording as well, uh, almost like a piece of sheet music, just knowing where to play, what to play when, that I've already written it. Um, makes a huge difference. Just to cap off the video, I also have a few elements here from um, Westwood Instruments and they are from the Electric Home Piano that's recently been released. Very nice um, instrument. And essentially I'm mainly using just textures because I didn't want the, any, any of the electric piano in there. But um, just to kind of skip to where it kind of gets good, but obviously actually what I'll show you is just where the bass comes in. That I can't really get that though. But that C. On this one's interesting. Uh, this one. I have Faces by Native Instruments doing some stuff. In any case, I'm going to make a separate video about this to kind of demonstrate how the electric home piano can be used in a contextual situation, um, which I'm going to do another time. But I hope that you found some use out of this video for the Spotlight Piano, and um, I really hope that um, it will encourage you to go and buy it. I've not been sponsored by um, Fracture Sounds. They did send me a copy of it for free, but I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just um, reviewing it in my own honest opinion. I've had a great time using it. It's been very useful. So yeah, go and check it out. I um, really, really like what they're doing at Fracture Sounds rate them highly and uh, yeah so please if you don't mind if you like the video please give it a like uh, if you could subscribe that'd be great ring that bell and leave a comment let me know what you thought thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now